Here we have the BBC Doctor Who 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition on Blu-ray. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you all the contents of the box, a lot of focus on the box and all the details and artwork that's on all four sides, as well as explain what's on the discs. The box has a black collar slipcase that just slides off the box, let's just do that now. And it contains all of the detail that you don't necessarily want to have on your shelf and show all the time, which includes all the barcodes, all the ratings, Oh, it does have some useful summary information about what's on there and all the features and lengths as well as on the front. Let's just pop that to the side. And what you now have is a much nicer looking, and it's almost like a box, the kind of styling or the coloration of the brown, it's very wooden in styling, embossed in Gallifreyan art on both the wooden box as well as on the top and the sides so we'll go through them in a little bit more detail because there's actually a little bit of a gloss element to it let's go back to stick with the front for now so underneath this plastic cover you've actually got um, artwork that's visible on front of one of the four blu-ray boxes that's inside here so you get a kind of choice if you think about this as a kind of photo frame box then you get the kind of idea that this box is set is aiming for so apart from now the blu-ray lettering that's quite subtly written it's it's quite nicely done and dusty along with the Gallifreyan art on the on the box there's now nothing to show that it's a Blu-ray box, which is really nice. So I think that collar does the purpose of keeping this box very discreet. The back is a very iconic picture of all the Doctors, all of them looking up at their various different TARDISes, and they are all subtly different, as you probably know. Some have got the St. John's Ambulance uh, insignia and some haven't, and there's a couple of the uh, older Doctors that didn't even have a white police telephone box free for use to the public. There's actually a couple of dark window ones, and again, certain little signs. So again, you can zoom in and look at that. That's rather pretty. So let's just focus on one of the edges for now. And I'm going to zoom right in just so you can get this a little bit more detail. So there's a lot of Gallifreyan art on, like I say, the actual wood and on the uh, spine centres. And this grey is actually slightly plasticky and also slightly embossed and pressed in. So I'm going to try and angle it a little bit so you can catch it the light. There we go. So it's very reflective there in my overhead light. But you get a feel for where that is. It's quite a, a different kind of texture to the cardboard. So you can probably feel it as you... Run, as I run my finger over there. So that's just another little detail that you don't really see unless you go a little bit close up and start okay, opening the box. Now you've got to be careful because it's a flap top box and by that I mean literally you've got to be careful with these edges here because the shape and cut of the box has actually gives a little bit of a locking mechanism the way that they, uh, they've made and attached the box and uh, I'll show this a little bit more at the end of the video but uh, a few simple modifications to the box will actually help open and close the box with no damage to the cardboard. Now I've already done a few creases as you can see opening and closing this box so much and uh, we'll, uh, we'll want to preserve this so so far nothing visible from the actual outside but you've really got to look after your box. I'll pop that out to the side right now. Okay let's look at these discs. Now let's start with the spines. So all the spines are actually different but the same let's say so um, there are about nine nine ten different Gallifreyan symbols here on the spines they're all different but they're different sequences you actually you soon spot little patterns going across diagonally or matching pairs so I'm not going to profess to be able to read Gallifreyan but uh, they have this very simple spine um, if you choose not to use the box at all that's what you're looking at and what I'm going to do is turn over each box in turn and spread them out on the table so you can actually see exactly what's on all the discs and get to see the artwork quite clearly. So it's going to look a bit strange because we have one to the right and work left, but here we go. So, back of disc one, we've got the name of the Doctor, the extras behind the scenes, the Night of the Doctor, Doctor Who, the Ultimate Guide, and as the back, you've got kind of echo round or kind of shapes, even though they're hexagonal, it's kind of interior TARDIS design. Okay, let's pop that to the right there. And disc two, fronted by David Tennant. We've got the day of the Doctor. The extras are behind the lens, the last day, script to screen, cinema intros, Strax and the Doctor. Fiftieth trails, tales from the TARDIS. And again, hexagonal artwork, imagery on the back of the box. Again, continuing the theme throughout. Back of disc three, the time of the Doctor, and the extras are behind the lens, deleted scene, a night with the stars, the science of Doctor Who, farewell to Matt Smith. And the fourth and final disc of the set is an adventure in space and time, and the extras, William Hartnell, the original, behind the scenes, the making of an adventure, reconstructions, title sequences, deleted scenes, the five-ish Doctor's reboot, Doctor Who at the proms 2013. 
Okay, so there are the four cases that you can see there, and each of those can of course be chosen by you to be the front inside that kind of box photo frame. So you can have the kind of front of the box on show. Obviously you wouldn't want to use the, uh, the black slip card in that situation. Now obviously if you're a bit of a collector, you've probably already got the uh, name of the Doctor, which is the 13th fun episode of season seven. So that was available in, of course, the season seven series, which is already available and uh, I happen to have here. Um, quite different kind of packaging, so let's just quickly slide out a cardboard sleeve there. And uh, as you can see, again, Gallifrey and Art, very similar kind of symbols that you're going to recognise. And uh, that's obviously season seven. You've got a the special edition, The Dare the Doctor on here, of course, which is the special episode. But you haven't got that in 3D, so that you'd have had to have bought also have this edition on 3D. So uh, it's, I think it's important for me to let you know what isn't included. So absolutely the same high quality definition, but not in 3D in this box set. And you've then got some other of the mini episodes. So like the Night of the Doctor, which is a Paul McGann episode. That's also on here with full 3D. So all in all, really interesting gathering and collection, but it doesn't actually quite contain um, that many special things for the collector. However, for me, there are three things of particular note. One is an adventure in space and time up to now in the UK. You've only ready to get this on DVD. And this particular, I think, let's call it a docudrama. So it's a bit of a documentary and storytelling of the uh, original 1966 um, creation, let's say, how the Doctor Who episodes came about and a bit of the history behind both the Doctor Who BBC and the uh, people, the main key people behind it. And I think that's fantastic anyway, but to have it in HD, that again, as a collector, really interesting to me. So the um, 1966 William Hartnell, David Bradley plays William Hartnell, very, very good. And it goes through the story of the very flamboyant Sidney Newman, Verity Lambert and Warris Hussein, who really were the two people with the, the imagination and the story and the setting and that really made Doctor Who what it is for us all. You've also got the five-ish Doctors, which is a comedy spoof on here in HD. Again, only previously available in kind of lower def and not actually properly formally released. That's uh, got Peter Davison, Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy primarily. So they're the three main Doctors. But you also get a little bit, a few bit parts from Paul McGann, David Tennant, and a few other pop-ins, including, you know, a bit of, bit of Torchwood and even uh, Mr. Gattis. So that's quite fun. It's a real comedy spoof. And it's sort of pastiches the fact that previously in all the kind of 25th anniversary, 30th anniversary, 40th anniversary, etc. Uh, the BBC have often made a special uh, Doctor Who story where many Doctors get into uh, into get to play or re reprise their roles. And I guess this is really saying that these guys they know they're a little bit old. I think uh, Colin Bacon, Peter Jack, Peter Davison, are quite fun at uh, trying to uh, pretend to squeeze back into their original uh, uniforms, outfits, however you want to call it. And I think it's, it's great fun all over. And I think they really do take the fun out themselves. And uh, that's really worth watching if you've never seen it before. And then, of course, the Doctor Who at the Proms 2013. They've only done three Doctor Who at the Proms so far. It's a live recording of a fully professional, one of the best concert orchestras. It's the BBC National Orchestra of Wales. It's fantastic, and it's it's not just um, a really nice live recording. It's also got little skits and stars and the show and some of the monsters, etc. So that, again, worth watching, and with the added sound quality of that Blu-ray brings. So there's a lot of things on here, a lot of documentaries, except that you may have caught on television but not got recorded, that you'll now have in 1080i. Uh, very good quality throughout, so there's a lot of special features, etc. All the uh, namesake 50th anniversary uh, episodes, the key ones of course, which is The Night of the Doctor, The Name of the Doctor, The Day of the Doctor. So those three all together, so you absolutely get that in one box set. So if you haven't got any of the previous series, but were particularly taken and really want a 50th anniversary collector's edition, then this is this is good for you. Okay, so the box is great looking, and this frame idea, it's not the first time I've seen a, a box being used as a frame, but it does mean that the box itself is a rather special box for this set. Uh, and unfortunately it's uh, rather flimsy cardboard and you've really got to be careful with these kind of top flaps that uh, because of the actual locking lugs that are in built as part of the design of the cardboard uh, that unless you do a few little snips and I do mean a very careful snipping of the cardboard here you're in danger of tearing and ripping the point where you open so unfortunately the cardstock that they've used is a little bit flimsy not perhaps the special uh, that you'd expect in regards to the packaging the black sleeve, the slip sleeve, if you leave it on your box, it's, and you have your uh, Blu-rays on a shelf, and you have this kind of side shelf view, 
that's also not the most attractive view of the box. So it looks okay on the front when you've got a character in there, that looks quite fine. But on the side on your shelf, you've now got Gallifrey and lettering that sort of stops halfway through on the symbols and then you've then got yourself the the spine that's now evident on your shelf so it's not the most uh, pretty looking box spine uh, but absolutely fine from the front don't get me wrong it's uh, it, uh, again it's it's because they focused on this being a kind of frame for these rather lovely artworks of the doctors so what would I prefer personally well Torchwood um, had flip cases with a lovely plastic colour that matched the lettering and even the um, current BBC to entertain Doctor Who episodes come in a kind of cardboard slip that then opens up and has a multi flap case and uh, although that's you know perhaps this isn't the best kind of packaging if you wanted a special edition it does keep things in together very much robust you've also got room for card and art etc and talking about cards and all the other extras that you'd kind of hope to get inside the first disc there is something paperwork but nothing particularly special it's a bit of an advert flyer nothing special there you don't even get a digital license key to watch this on your pads or devices so there's a few things quite lacking from this set as well as it being fantastic I'm rather glad I've got the adventures in space and time on DVD because if I didn't have this I wouldn't have this fantastic booklet that comes with it that has brilliant pictures and art and discussions of the actual piece and how it was made um, any other way so it's one of these situations where you don't quite get everything inside this box that you perhaps would like and uh, I'm a bit of a collector that likes to have all of the uh, all of the options however I would say value for money this is quite low value for money and unless you're really after an adventure space and time the five-ish doctors doctor who at the proms in HD those are the three main reasons that I'm quite happy to have this but all the other things you're probably going to get most other ways. Um, of course, all the other doc documentaries are also in 1080i, uh, and uh, they are certainly you know fun. I think the Night of the Doctor, Paul McGann mini episode is very good as well, and it's good to see that on this set as well. So there's plenty of things, but there are no commentaries, and some of the sit-down um, discussions are edited down, so you get 15, 20 minutes worth of some of the uh, read-throughs that you get. The menus aren't particularly special, doesn't look, a lot of effort's gone into them either, and uh, unfortunately the same sound issues that occurred on the release of the Doctor Who Day of the Doctors 3D still occurs in this box set, so they've not done anything particular here. So I hope BBC and Tour Entertain also uh, take on board some of these comments and that this review helps you with your purchasing decision. It's a little bit disappointing, and I think uh, if you're a, a Doctor Who fan, uh, you've got to you know understand that absolutely from a complete collection point of view you can still enjoy this and there's a lot of great content on here um, it's not uncommon to end up buying your favorite works more than once um, but it's a little bit of a shame that the box is not uh, of sturdier sturdier stock either cardboard etc so you know think about uh, the Lord of the Rings sets or even uh, the larger heavier card um, magnetic clasped kind of books that you can get this is this is really nothing more than uh, a little bit thicker than the you know, kind of box of cereals would be in so it really is a little bit disappointing looks gorgeous but you've got to look after that I hope my video helps you with your purchasing decision whether to buy or not to buy this box set please feel free to like subscribe and comment